All right. So if blogging means business to you, you will have to consider all these things. All right. So for you to choose a niche, you have to decide, first of all, to check and run analysis and know whether or not the niche is profitable, whether or not there is good traffic, because you may write very great articles and nobody is reading it. And if nobody is coming to read it, of course, you cannot make money. It's as simple as that. So whether it is profitable, whether or not uh, there's traffic, and the kind of competition you have there, that will determine whether or not you go fast and make money. All right? So we've, we've also talked about how to choose niche, which is what I just summarized now. Those three things are going to, you know, help you. So what types of blogs do we have? I'm going to be sharing my screen now. Oh my God. The Nigerian thing just happened to me now. Please, if you can see my screen, just uh, say so. Uh, you can see my screen. If you can see my screen, let me know. Just wave your hand. Yeah. You can see my screen, just wave your hand. All right. All right, so like I said when we started this class, I am going to be going straight to the point. I'm not going to beat around the bush. I'm not going to teach you things that 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 don't contribute anything to making money. All right, so talking about the the platforms you can have your blog. All right, your blog could be on WordPress. It could be on Blogger. It could be on PHP. It could be on Laravel. I don't know if you are taking those. I don't know if anybody got that. Please, if you're... If your mic is still on, please turn it off. It's giving us issues. All right, so your blog could be on WordPress. It could be on, um, it could be on Blogger platform, which is free of charge. It could be on PHP. It could be on Laravel. There are so many, so many platforms you can use to, even Wix. There are so many platforms you can use to build your blog, all right? And please remember that this, this class is not about how to design a website, okay? What we're teaching here is blogging, how to make money out of your blog, all right? How to do blogging and get profit. It's not a class of design website. We are not concerned with that here. Whoever that has his mic, um, his mic on, please turn it off now, please. So this class is about how to design a book. You can um... okay, thank you very much. <clears throat> this is not good enough. Well. It's okay, it's fine. All right, so if after this class you want to um, design your blog, of course, uh, there are people that can um, do that for you, all right? And some of you already know how to design blogs, so it's not a big deal. Well, it is not part of what makes you money. So what we're teaching in this class is what makes money. I personally don't design websites. If I need any blog, I'll just call my designer, he designs it for me. I don't worry my head how to design a blog. I know how to make money out of blogs. 
but he doesn't. And that is why he's my designer. So the most important thing is for you to learn how to make money. All right? So uh, from all those platforms I listed now, we are going to be using WordPress. WordPress is the most popular. It is, it is perhaps, um, depending on what you want to design, but I prefer WordPress to all other ones I mentioned. All right? It is so simple, very simple, very unique, and very straight to the point. And you can manipulate it however you want to manipulate it. And of course, do it, whatever you want to do, you can do it. So make sure that whenever you're building your blog, or you're asking somebody to build your blog, please make sure that the person is using WordPress to build your blog. And for the purposes of our practice um, tomorrow, we are going to be using uh, WordPress. The account you're going to have, the platform you're going to be practicing is going to be a WordPress platform. All right, so we'll look at um, how to log into a WordPress website. Okay. These elementary things I'm teaching are things that will help um, um, some of you who have never done anything about blogging. That is why I'm bringing up these um, stuffs. So some of you who are already into blogging, please don't be angry. Please don't be angry. Don't be angry. Let's find ways to carry um, some, of, some of the people in this group who have never done anything blogging along. It is very, 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 very important. <clears throat> So that when they eventually start blogging, they will not say that they don't know anything. All right? So how do you log into a WordPress uh, website? It's very, very simple. You type the name of the website. Name of the website. If you can see my screen now, this is the name of my website. Then you put slash, slash WP hyphen admin. All right? I'm going to send this link, uh, you know, in our WhatsApp group. If you want to log into any WordPress website, to log in as administrator, to log into the admin panel, okay? All you need to do is type the name of the website, the website address, website address slash WP, which is WordPress hyphen admin. It will take you to the admin login page. Now, that is it. Uh, the owner of the website did not change the link because this login link is a custom link. It can be changed, all right? Somebody can change it so that you cannot use this to access, uh, you know, the person's website. So you can customize it to whatever you want. But this is the primary, this is the basic, this is the customary login link. So once you type the website address slash WP, which is WordPress, hyphen admin, you send it. Okay, this website is, is logged in already. All right, so once you type that thing I told you and send, it will take you to a place where you will enter your username and password. This should be given to you by your designer, all right? So you just enter the username you will enter the password, all right? You log in. So when I create your profiles and send you a username and your password on the website you're going to be using for practice, this is what you do. You, you copy that link I'm going to send, or you type it the way I've said it. You come to this page, you enter your username, and you enter the password, then you log in, all right? So it's as simple as that. Okay, one, one more thing we're going to look at now, which, which was not listed in our, it was not listed in our, in our schedule for this night, is how to make a post, all right? the structure of your posts, the structure of your posts. This is for newbies. This is for people that have never blogged, okay? So how do you make a post? Once you log into this dashboard, 
this is the administrator's dashboard. All right, this is the admin dashboard of your site. So, this is the admin dashboard of your site. So, what you will simply do is to click on post. All right, you will see add new posts, add new. You will see add new. When you do that, you will see title, you will see body of the post. And some of that, or some of other things. When we are going to be teaching SEO, we are going to look at how you can uh, structure this post. All right, but I wanted to point it out so that nobody will ask me then. Okay, so when you get there, you enter your title and you enter, of course, the body of the post. Then you do your SEO, then you publish. All right. So, but I'm not publishing anything tonight. <laughs> Now, let me explain how Google AdSense works because of all, of all the ways of monetizing, of all the ways of monetizing your website, the one we're going to be using, the one we're going to be using is Google AdSense, all right? So I would like to explain to you how Google AdSense works. So I'm going to be explaining how Google AdSense works. Google AdSense is a program, is a program that you can get into that enables Google to place people's ad bat on your website. It is an advertisement program that you can get into as a publisher, all right? If you get admitted as a publisher, Google will take people's ad bat and place on your website. And then when people visit your website and click on any of those adverts, Google will pay you money. Does that make sense? Does that make sense? If it does make sense, just wave. Let me let me know you're following. If it does make sense. All right. So like I explained before, Google AdSense is a program, an advert program where you partner with google you help google you help google to advertise people's uh products people's services to run generally people's advertisement all right so that is google adsense program so how does this work let's say uh, david has um a car he wants to sell all right or he's a car dealer he has cars that he wants to sell to people who are living in Nigeria, okay? So David will take pictures of the cars that he wants to sell and then go to Google and say, Google, take this 100,000 Naira and advertise my cars to people who are living in Nigeria or people who are living in Abuja, all right? So Google will take David's advert and place it on your website, okay? Because the people who are visiting your website are majorly Nigerians, all right? And those Nigerians are, that are visiting your website are the people that David wants to, you know, sell his car to. So Google will take David's advert and place it on your website. So people will now visit your website, okay? Click on that advert and likely buy David's car. So at the end of the day, Google makes money. You, the owner of the website, makes money. Then, of course, David will sell his car, and he has made money. So it becomes a win-win situation. Does that make sense? That should make sense. So how does Google share the money? How do they share the money? Let's say um, David paid 100,000 Naira to advertise. Google does not have a website. Google does not have a place where they do advertisement for themselves. All right. Even if they do, it's just on the pages of search engines. All right. And that is not enough for the kind of advertisements they get. Google makes 95 billion naira last year. 95 billion dollars last year. That's what they made from um, um, AdSense. All right. 
And that 95 billion dollars is is 40 something trillion naira. Okay, so you can imagine a company that is making that kind of money. Everybody from different parts of the world, people from different parts of the world are paying money to Google to you know run adverts for them. And Google makes money that way. All right. So how do they share the money? It's very simple. Say David gave 100000 to Google to advertise, and they place the advert on your website, and people visit, now click, and you make money, then David also gets to sell his, uh, his car. So how do you divide the 100000 naira with Google? How do you share it? Google gives you 68%, 68% of the revenue. 68%, 68%. Google gives you 68%. <clears throat> Google will give you 68% of the 100,000 Naira that David has paid. And they will take um, 32%, all right? Google will take 32%, you will take 68%. That is the sharing formula. That is the sharing formula. So for instance now, if you visit my blog, scholarsarena.net, scholarsarena.net, if you visit my blog, scholarsarena.net, it will load, all right? The first thing you're going to see is adverts. That is the first thing you're going to see on top. This thing you're seeing here is adverts. Sell small farm tractors, inquiry.us. If you click on this open now, I have made money. All right. If you click on this thing now, this is adverts. So how do you know it's adverts? You look at these uh, two buttons here. If you point your cursor to it, you see adverts by Google. Ads by Google. Ads by Google. So it is Google that is running this advertisement. If you click on this now, I've made money. It could be 60 naira. It could be 70 naira. It could be 100 naira. It could even be 200 or 300 for you clicking on this thing now. If you just click on it now, I've made money. And it will record on my Google Assets account. At the end of the month, I get paid. All right? So if what I'm saying is making sense, if it's, if it's, if it's clear, if you understand what Google Assets is, please wave, wave. Let me know that you understand what I'm saying. Now, how does Google pay you money? How does Google pay you money? As you're making money, as people are visiting your website, as people are visiting your website and you're making money, Google is recording the money you're making in your AdSense account. So Google is recording the money you're making in your AdSense account. So let's say you make um, $3,000 this month from the 1st of June to the 30th or 31st of the month, you made $3,000. Hmm? Google will pay you that $3,000 on... Google will pay you that $3,000 on the 21st. I'm looking for somebody who's, whose mic is on, please. I don't know whose mic is on. So if you make $3,000 this month, Google will send that money to your account on the 21st of next month. So if you make $3,000 in the month of June, on 21st of July, you will receive a lot from Google. All right? And you can use uh, your ordinary savings account to receive the money. However, if you're receiving big money from 1,000 and above, I usually advise that you open a domiciliary account so that Google will pay straight to your dollar account and you can go and withdraw the dollars and exchange it. The reason is because if Google pays straight into your Naira account, CBN will exchange that money for you in the prevailing government rate of that day. And that is going to be bad. The last time it happened to me in 2018, before I changed and started to I uh, start using um, I decided to start using 
uh, domiciliary account. I lost 108,000. I lost 108,000 Naira to exchange rate. So when you're receiving big money, please make sure that you have a domiciliary account where Google can pay to. That is if you're receiving big money. But until you start receiving big money, please be using your Naira account. It is enough. Until you start receiving big money, just be using your Naira account. Your Naira account is more than enough. Your Naira account is more than enough. All right? So when you submit your account, Google pays money and you can withdraw it and now uh, top life. Abi, you can withdraw it and top life. Whatever you want to use it and do, you can use, you can use it and do. If you want to dash me, I'll be happy. If you decide to dash me, if you decide to dash anybody, it will be fine. If you decide to chop life, it will be okay. If you decide to reinvest in your blog, that will be marvelous. All right? So those are the introductory things I wanted us to, to deal with this night. So what other introductory things? That's that is that for introductions, all right? So please, if uh, if you have questions about this introductory aspect of this class tonight, you can just um, you can just ask it. Just wave your hand. I will unmute you so that you can ask questions based on this introductory class. Remember I said today is for introductions. Tomorrow we are going to get into the business of the day. All right? We are going to go hardcore tomorrow. This night is to explain an overview to some of us who have never blogged before. I have more than half of the people in this class have never done anything blogging. So there was a need, a very... Sorry, please. Sorry, my network got bad. We may we may have to be we may have to be doing we may have to be doing uh, class in the day because if I'm in the if I'm in the office now, I have very fast internet, very very fast internet. I don't know why. I don't know why I should start of class. So please, if you have uh, questions. If you have questions, please raise your hand. If you have questions from Nonso. Nonso, Nonso. No, sir. No, sir, I can't find you here. Please drop drop your question in the chat. Just drop your question in the chat. If you have any question, just say yes or just type 111. Just type, if you have a question, type 111. I will mute you. If you have question, just type one one one. Sunday. There are people in this class that I cannot see you. I cannot see you. Okay. All right. So no. So please go ahead. Please talk, no sir. Oh my God. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you clearly. Okay, okay. I want to ask from the Google Adsense uh, aspect. Yes. You said once Google run an advert on yes. a website. Yes. And people click the web. And people click the advert. 
Yes. We make money. Yes, sir. Is it just clicking or do people have to buy the product so we make money? Or once people click the advert, we make money. All That's right. You're a, you're a sharp guy. Yeah, you are not thinking when will people come and buy the product before you make money, have you? <laughs> exactly. No, no, no. It is not like that. Once you become a publisher partner with Google, okay, that you're running advert for them. If you're a publisher partner, hmm, advert runs continuously on your site. There are millions of adverts, millions of people advertising on Google every single day, right? So there's something called cost per click, CPC. Please write it down. Cost per click, CPC. Cost per click is, yeah. Yeah. Cost yeah. Per click is how much the advertiser is willing to pay per click. Or how much Google is charging the advertiser per click. So if you go to my website now and click on anything, when that person was trying to run that advert on Google, he specified the CPC he wants to have, all right? So let's say I want to advertise on Google now. And I go to Google and say, if anybody clicks on my advert, I want to pay 100 Naira, okay? So the money you are making is per click. It doesn't matter if the person buys the product or not. No, 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 that is not your business. As long as that person has clicked, gone to the website, okay? Because there's something called bounce rate. Okay, invalid clicks. If somebody clicks on advert on your website and the person did not wait for the other website that is receiving him where they advertise the product to open and he leaves, that is an invalid click. Uh, click. But if that person clicks and goes to the website that is advertising and spends a few seconds there, you have made your money. So the person did not, he doesn't need to buy products. No, 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 no. For you, if you are going to make money only when people buy product, that is what's called affiliate marketing. Affiliate marketing is a different thing entirely, a different ball game entirely. With Google AdSense, once you are a publisher partner, if anybody visits your site and click on your advert and land on the page where you're supposed to land after clicking, you have made your money, my brother. It doesn't matter whether the person buys product or not. It's not your business, all right? So if that person, oh, sorry, clicks, yeah. Yeah. If that person yeah. clicks and Google charges the advertiser, and Google charges the advertiser, let's say 100 Naira, Google will take 32 Naira, you will take 68 Naira. Does that make sense? Yes, it does. All right. So who else has questions? Okay. Oyibo? Thank you. Oyibo? All right. Oh, boy, you are on. Uh, good evening. Yeah, good evening. Good evening. This is Sunday. Okay. Please good evening. Me. Can you hear me? Go okay. Ahead. Can you hear me? Yes. Hello. Go ahead. Hello? We can hear you. Hello, class. Okay, thank you very much. Um, this is my question. Okay, um, this is my question. Okay, uh, my question is um, how can you be a Google AdSense publisher? Okay, but you are you said uh, you are now can you Become a publisher because usually this challenge of trying to apply for Sunday's um, network is bad. All right, I'll proceed to answer your question. How do you become a Google publisher? It is very simple, all right? There are two ways. There are two ways you can become Google Publisher. It is either you buy an already approved Google account, which is what I do most times and for most of my students. 
we do not have the time to be stressing and try to get approval and all of that and all of that. So most times there are people whose work is to um, get approval, all right? <clears throat> Excuse me. Their work is to just go about applying, applying, applying to Google, applying to Google until they get approval. When they get approval, they sell it, all right? But if you don't want to do that, you can create your blog, write original content, okay? Write original content, create a free Gmail account, then apply for Google AdSense. Do you understand it now? If you heard me, if you heard me, just wave your hand if you heard me. If you don't want to buy Google account, all right? It is very simple. Create your blog, write your content, okay? Before the end of this, um, this class series, before the end of 10 days, I'm going to show you the kind of content you can write and Google will likely approve you. I am not saying that Google is going to automatically approve you. I don't work with Google. I am not, um, I'm not heading any team. So I'm, I don't have influence to get you approved. I am only saying that if you write that kind of content, I'm going to show you that there is an 80 to 90% chances of approval. Does that make sense? However, even if you're not approved, you can reapply. And you can change some things and reapply, okay? Until they approve you. My, my website is colasarena.net. I did not apply for approval. I bought an AdSense account and I added my domain inside it. Do you understand? <clears throat> However, I have another website, scholarshipground.com. I applied for approval. I wrote the content and they approved it. There's AdSense on the, on the blog, all right? So it is either you apply or you buy. Simple. So Yubo, please ask your, ask your question, Yubo. <clears throat> Yeah, thank you very much, Good evening, everybody. I think my question has been taken care of. I was okay. about asking the same question the first guy asked. That should be an answer also. Thank you. All right, all right. So Linda is asking um, whether there's a way to manipulate, <laughs> whether there's a way to manipulate uh, the clicks. All right. I think uh, I know why you're asking this, because you know some things about blogging, and at least uh, Cindy Cruz is also a blogger and you're close. So I understand why you're asking this. Well, I will not teach you how to do illegal things. <laughs> because manipulating Google's clicks eh, is illegal. It is not good. However, I will teach you how to make money. If you call it uh, click manipulation, now you say, but I'm going to teach you I'm going to teach you a very <laughs> easy, I'm going to teach you a very easy way to do that thing that you have in mind. If it is an illegal thing, you're the one doing it too. All right? But uh, <laughs> Google, Google is in US and they are packing billions of dollars. All right? So I'm going to show you a means to get better clicks, to get faster money from Google. Do you understand? If you go to my website and check, scholarsarena.net, hmm? if you check and do all the analysis, you will see that my money is not coming from SEO. For those of you who are bloggers in this class, you will see that my money is not coming from SEO. So you can go and check it, all right? So I'm going to be teaching that. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. For. So, I've checked it, I've seen it. <laughs> yes, so we are going to be teaching what is giving money, not um, not stories, all right? So I will get to that point. Don't be faster than your shadow, all right? So what other questions do we have? <clears throat> what other I have a question. Okay. okay. I have a question. Please go ahead. Hello, can you hear me? Clearly, I can hear you clearly. Okay. Go ahead, please. My question is this. Okay. Uh, how much does it cost to buy a Google AdSense? 
Okay, how much does it cost to buy a Google Adsense account? All right, it's very, very simple. Yes. It's very that uh, we have to, before we talk about the cost of buying access account, we need to look at the, the various levels of AdSense account. There is a fresh AdSense account. Fresh AdSense account. That's an AdSense account that has just been approved. All right? An AdSense account that has just been approved, but has not been verified, is called a fresh AdSense account. The market. In the access market. Okay. An access account that is just approved but has not been verified is called a fresh access account in the access market. All right? Now, access account used to go through processes. If you apply now and they approve your application, they approve your website to display Google Ads. They will ask you to verify your ID and verify your address. So how do they verify your ID? You will need to upload either a national ID card or a driver's license or an international passport. Okay? So they need to know, because once you are accepted into Google AdSense, you are a partner. You work for Google. Is that not true? So you become a partner. And if you are a partner, they need to know that the person they are sending money to is actually the person they, they are sending money to. So you will need to upload your ID card, valid ID card, either of those three that I just mentioned. Then after that step, after that step, you will need to verify your address. Google will send you a letter from US. <clears throat> Google will send you a letter from US. That letter takes, uh, I think three, three, four, five weeks, okay, to get here, to get to Nigeria. So in that letter, they will give you a PIN. There is a, a digit code, a PIN, a PIN code that, do, that will be in that letter. And there will be a place in your account that you're supposed to log in and enter that PIN. Once you enter that PIN, uh, your account will become verified, fully verified. That is the last stage. That is called address verification. And Google is going to send that letter to the address you have provided in your account. You understand? So when we talk about the price of AdSense account, the one that is verified, that's the one that has gone through all this stage, is not the same price with the one that is unverified. Before Corona came, unverified AdSense used to be 10,000 naira. That is the one that is fresh, that has not been verified. But remember, remember that, that your account has not been verified does not mean you're not making money. You are making money, but they will not pay you until you verify your account. So if you start this month now, oh, glory, 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 glory. Glory, glory, glory. I better go. You wish just be patient. Let me, let me on this is here and get some, some fresh air before I will die. All right, so if you start this month and you are making money, you are making money, Google will be recording the money for you, recording the money for you. But if your account is not a verified account, they will not send you the money until you verify your, your ID, verify that you are the person you say you are. Google is very bad. I cannot hear from the beginning to the end. Sorry about that. You are going to, don't worry, you are going to get a um, recording. We are recording this class. So after this class, I'm going to send it to the group. All right? So please just uh, relax. Even if you can't, um, even if you can't hear us, just relax. I'm going to send you a recording of the class. So like I was saying before, when you get into the Google AdSense program, even if, even if uh, you have not verified your account, you're making money and it will be recorded in your account. All right? Every single day, they will record how much you made. Every day, day one, day two, three, four, five, six, seven, every single day of the month, they record how much your blog has made. But they will not send you the money until you verify your ID and verify your address. Do you understand? So when you want to purchase a Google AdSense account, the price for the, price for the one that is verified, that has gone through ID verification, 
and um, address verification is not the same. Before Corona, the price of fresh access account used to be 10,000. But fresh access account now is around 20,000 to 30,000. Do you understand? Now, if you're looking for a verified access account, which is for the big guys, if you have a lot of money, and you're a big man, or you're a big woman, like Chirema, Vera, Lillian, big, big girls, you want to buy a verified access account, it's around 100K, 80K, 90K, 70K, uh, 110, depending on who is selling to you and the bargain. All right? I noticed that somebody asked, uh, how can you get, uh, where, where can you buy it? But of course, I will provide the contacts. There are, there are boys, I have their contacts that what they sell, what the only thing they do in this life is to sell access accounts. That's the only thing they do in this their life is to sell access accounts. And some of them make make over a million naira a month to selling that thing. So don't look at it as if it's not because 100k from 10 persons is 1 million naira. Sure, you know. All right. So that is that for Google AdSense. Any other question, please? Anybody? Anybody? Just raise your hand. I still have one question to ask. Go ahead. Hello? Go ahead, we can hear you. Okay. My second question is, I, I, I really didn't get uh, it correctly when you talked about me, because my, my network had issues. So I would love if you can go back uh, to it, sir. When I talked about what? Sorry for your Meet, meeting, meeting. Okay, it will be in the recording, so you will watch it in the record. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So any anybody with questions about what we've discussed today? Remember that this is an elementary class, very elementary, very, very elementary, just to, uh, to carry uh, people who have never done blocking along, like my friend, I don't think Oibo has blocked before, so there's a need to break this thing down. So some of you who, some of you who already know how to do this thing, uh, should should exercise some patience. All right, Cruz. Um, I want to ask, sort of, if you choose to blog on music site, how will you end from there? Because you know, music side have um, a little bit of um, some policy there, but still it generates a, um, enough traffic. So what of if you choose a um, music blog, how will you end from there? All right. It's very simple. That's my question. It's very simple. Sure, you used to see Google access on like loaded. Yes. So how do you think they're doing it? You don't know there are some... So, some people, if they put it, they will block it. But then you see all yeah, the stuff come down. Okay, come like down. Just, say, just say you don't know. Just say you don't know. <laughs> yes, I don't. I don't know. I don't. All know. right. All right. Have you heard about premium Google Adsense before? No. Yeah? No, no I've not. Okay. What I'm going to teach you? Eh? Yeah. Somebody yes. paid me yesterday. There's a guy from um, New Zealand. New Zealand. He contacted me. He said somebody sent somebody sent uh, my contact to him. He contacted me yesterday. He paid me one thousand five hundred dollars to teach him what I'm about to teach you. That one thousand five hundred is about seven hundred thousand in naira. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yes. So there's something called premium Google license and before the end of our series, I will show you how to get it so that even if your niche is Shingbain, you can be on AdSense. Nothing will happen. Like loaded, uh, they are collecting money, big, big money, millions of, of naira every single month 20, 30, 40 million. Everybody here, somebody is making 30 million naira monthly, 40 million naira. So calm down, no? calm down. Uh, the $1,000 you are going to collect, God will not know say you exist, too. they don't know you exist. So if you're making, uh, share you know that one million naira is two thousand two hundred dollars. Are you okay? So so that so that when you begin to make say two thousand two hundred dollars and that is a million naira, please don't go and relax. So there is money, a lot of money, a lot of money on this street. There is a lot of money on this street, so you can collect money. You can collect money. 
There are people that are collecting 30 yeah. million, 35, 40 million from Google every month. All right? So, Cindy Cruz, to answer your question, simple. There's something called Premium Assets, and I'll show you how, how you can do it, all right? So that you can monetize your music blog. Does that make sense? Does that make sense, Cindy Cruz? It appears Cindy cannot hear us. All right. Any other question, please? Any other question? If you have a question, just um, All right. raise your hand. Yes, thank you, sir. All right. Yes, yes, it does. Yes, 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 it does. Thank you. Just raise your hand. Mr. Samson Abani, I can see you around. If you have a question, please just say something. All right. Uh, if you don't have questions, okay, Chooks. Chooks, you're on. I have a question. Okay, who is talking? Uh, good evening. Yeah, good evening. Please go ahead. Hello, can you hear me? Go straight to the point. We can hear you, sir. Hello? Can you hear me, sir? We can hear you. Please go straight to the point. Good evening, sir. Good evening. Uh, my question is um, I want to do um, health and. Health and what? I want to uh, do a, a health and a fitness uh, blog. Okay. So, and I don't know how to go about it. Okay, it's very simple. It's very simple. Thank God you asked this question. Let me explain this thing. When I talked about niche, when I talked about niche, what, what niche means is just what you post on your platform. Okay? Health and fitness. Just listen, my brother. Niche is about what you post, all right? So if we say that the blog is about health and fitness, it means that what they post is just about um, health and fitness. It's about blog. It means that they post mm. contents. Simple. So if you're asking me how do you go okay. about it, it's very simple. Let the, let the blog and start posting things about health. Mm. Please, are there further questions? Are there further questions, please? This, this network is very embarrassing. Nigeria is, uh, I'm sorry to say, a shit whole country. <laughs> 